Today I want to share a piece of music with you written just under 45 years ago by the American composer William Albright. Albright was a product of the Midwest, just like yours truly, and he was born in Gary, Indiana in 1944. He began studying the piano at age five, and while in high school, he was enrolled at the Juilliard School's preparatory division. He went on to earn his Bachelor of Music, Master of Music, and Doctor of Musical Arts degrees, all in organ and composition, from the University of Michigan, where he was a professor for most of his adult life, first as the Associate Director of the Electronic Music Studio, and then later on as the Chair of the Composition Department. In the middle of his doctoral studies in 1968, Albright was awarded a Fulbright scholarship, which he used to travel to Paris for a year to study with Olivier Messiaen, whose influence can definitely be heard in much of Albright's music. As a composer, Albright wrote for almost every instrumental and vocal medium, although his keyboard works are best known today. He was also a virtuoso organist and pianist, and he premiered more than 30 American and European works. William Albright was good friends with another composer named William at the University of Michigan, William Bolcom, whose compositions have also helped push the envelope a bit in the world of organ music. Sadly, Albright passed away at the young age of 53 in 1998 from liver failure. The little piece I will play today comes from Albright's organ book number three, also called 12 Short Etudes. This collection was written in 1977 and 78. The movement I've chosen is called Nocturne, which, as its name implies, conjures up an atmosphere of the serenity of nighttime. You'll see from how the music is notated on the page that Nocturne is a piece without a strict sense of meter. The pedal line has the melody, which does have specific time values assigned to it, but the hands play these tremolo figures, almost reminiscent of a marimba, which create a wash of sound. So the motion and the timing, when to start, when to stop in the hands, is up to the performer to decide. This is an example of aleatoric music, where some part of the performance is left to the musician to realize or left to chance. If we were to travel way, way back to the middle of the 17th century, another example of aleatoric music is the unmeasured preludes of Louis Couperin, uh, Francois's father. If you take a look at one of these preludes, you'll see there's a lack of bar lines or rhythmic instruction, so the performer has to make those decisions. I think it's so cool that this technique from the 1600s resurfaces in the 20th century, but this sort of recycling of innovations happens all the time in music history. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my version of William Albright's Nocturne. Mm -hmm. 